I think of today I'm gonna be doing just a day vlog. I gotta get to the studio and, and shoot. I don't even know what I'm shooting, but yeah. So, good morning, everybody. <laughs> this is my actual view from down here. The YouTube counter, so I can see it even from when I'm when I'm laid down. There it is, one more subscriber came in during the night. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. <laughs> All right, I need to get showered. So we left home and now we're heading to work. You gotta love that Apple Watch. I mean, you can do so many crazy things with this thing. It's just not even funny. So here we are in the train space and we're just waiting for the train. Now it gets really packed over here, especially because of Shibuya. But you know, it's, it's Monday and it hours. It's not even so late. I love the amount of the same because as you can see it has like a, a color rail there. So everything is like it's like you know the same color. So the amount of the same would be a green line and then you have the red line and the orange line and stuff like that. So let's go inside and but <laughs> So Shinokubo, basically Korea town right here. Alright, just a little more and we're almost there. So here we are at the studio back again. Ready to rock and roll. Actually I just got a message from the system. She says it's kinda running late, so well whatever. <laughs> so nobody here obviously. There is always a way to open any door. Ooh! And I have one shoot right here. And a couple more down here. So let's see how the studio is left up. So in the studio over here we use an iPad. It's a very old generation iPad, probably one or two, I don't know. It's just a pictures folder over here with a couple of folders for different type of shoots. You know, I kind of want this style, maybe different color on the background. So we need to have a, a gallery of things that can be done in the studio. So that's why we have like all these type of shoots. And for audition photos, which is just like for um, voice actors or whatever, they're required to take a, a portrait shot, basically, just like that. And then they're required to also take a full body shot a lot of the times. As we also took pictures of like dancers, so you need to have the full body shot and also a portrait shoot. Later on, I'm gonna have a friend of ours to sit over here and I'm gonna do a little test shoot because I cannot show you guys <laughs> when the clients are here. I cannot be either speaking English or, or taking video of them. EOS 5D Mark III connected with this USB cable. The cable comes over here to this Mac. EOS Utility 3. So if I take a shot right now, you see it would come over here black. So I have the model here, which is she's actually a model, cosplayer and everything, but um, she's gonna be playing the role for her uh, voice actor. And so first of all, you need to you know tell them where to come and sit and everything. So she sits over here, she's straightforward. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a test shoot. What you wanna see is a, some, a, a little bit of shadow, but you don't want so much, especially in Japan, that they don't like so much shadows on their faces. Now I'm seeing that she's missing maybe a little bit of hair light. So I'm gonna go ahead and move back the, the hair light and maybe make it more shiny right here. And then we can start posing the model because right now it's so much straight and this is, this is not a, a pretty photo if you're gonna be doing an audition. You want something more appealing. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the hair light. And I noticed it was off right now, so I'm gonna put it on. It's on right there. Now we come over here and immediately you can see that there is there is a hair light right there. And under this I have a bridge out. And you can see my two shots. It's one without the hair light and one with the hair light. So now we're gonna go ahead and pose the model. Now you can tell the model if you have a good communication skills to turn a little bit left or to turn a little bit right or whatever and usually you see them on, on the hair if her hair is parted from the you know from my left side over here then she would need to turn this way a little bit more and if she's this hair is parted on this side you know it depends on what you want to do but you want something that is more appealing now from the point of the camera from the camera views we're taking like like a snapshot and as you can see, uh, if I take another shot right here, this is what we're getting. So we're shooting a little bit from top, so I need to get down a little bit. 
and uh, a lot of the people sit straight and when you sit straight and you're shooting from an angle a lot of the times the shoulder comes up now she has a lot of experience so she knows to drop the shoulder but a lot of the people a lot of the models or voice actors will come with the straight shoulder that looks like pretty high also uh, if you want to have like a better expression you need to have them turn the face on the side a little bit and tilt the head a little bit that makes it look, look more more soft or more you know appealing than if they're like dead on straight on the camera so um, there's a lot of rules you know like just talk to the model never touch them or whatever and I don't think that is bad it just depends how you do it so I'm gonna go ahead and just try to pose her a little bit yeah I see so you see, I'm not touching her legs or anything, I'm just telling her the, the location. And then you can push it over here, you know, it's nothing, anything, anything, you know, pervert or anything like that. It's just like, just curve over here. Take your shoulders back like this and drop it down. And then anything that gets closer to the camera, it gets bigger. So we're going to push this, this elbow a little bit back and have her hand right there. So that way you can see that. That she's acquired a pose that is a little bit uncomfortable but um, the picture actually looks right now i'm gonna ask her to put the face this way and then turn your forehead a little bit to the side like that that's pretty much it this is right now so as you can see this is way more appealing especially for an audition photo which says you know like how about me or it's, it's more more soft and sweet and nice so now with that we got the posing uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of shots. You don't want to shoot so much that the, the model gets tired, so let's go ahead and take a couple of shots of her. So now that we're done with a couple of shots, then we I can ask her, you know, to take a break because while you're there, it gets a lot of tension on the face and you get to the muscles all stressed up. So it's a good idea to take a couple of shots. I took uh, like 20 something shots and uh, you can ask her to take a break. So let's come and see some photos and then we can see, she can see how she's looking, how her hair is looking, you know, she can check herself and that will be so much better. So I drop out three like this. And then I can ask her, you know, which one she thinks is best. And we can start marking the photos on this side. Just putting a little star there for the ones that she thinks they're okay. All right, so one point to consider, um, she's, she's looking at these two pictures. She has a lot of experience. Uh, and one thing she's considering is this picture or this picture because the smile is a little bit more prominent in this one and that one. So it kind of looks more appealing than this one. Maybe it looks a little bit serious. And we're going really into like little small details. So we like you look at the eyes, these ones are a little bit like half a millimeter more open than this one. So it looks more, you know, sparkly kind of thing. So I'm gonna put a mark on this too and we're gonna continue with the next one. So this is pretty much how you select the photos. And you just go through the ones and see which ones are best for the actual paper or for the role that you're gonna be taking. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue the selection and shrink it a little bit, so and then I'll show you guys. So now we just got three. I can come over here and put uh, three stars on this one, so this is the last three. I can come and press space, and now we can see them like this, and you can totally see which one has the most impact. You go number one, two, three. So we're looking at these two pictures, and what we can notice, for example, is she has a little bit of strand of hair over here and we don't want to take so much time retouching so this one is like something that you may not want and also she has darkness on here in the shadow so um, just by putting the hand here maybe she created a little bit of darkness and this one looks more bright and, and more appealing so both of them are really nice but the expression on this one has also the eyes a little more open and it's, it's, it's just like more um, you know, it has more appealing to, to whoever's gonna be watching this and deciding if she gets the jab or not. So, okay, we decided for this one. So I will just drag that photo out of here into that folder. Now I can tell the model, you know, wait a little bit while I change the setup because I'm gonna be shooting a full, a full body. So as you can see, I have the camera just at her waist level. You can do it around her tights, but at her waist level is kind of having the camera a little bit lower than the whatever the face is so I don't really shoot a full body from the shoulders or from the chest I shoot it like 
around this area. So I will zoom in all the way, I will get it back as much as I can and I'm gonna be shooting from a low angle just to make her legs look longer because everyone loves to have long legs. So now when she's going back, it's a very different thing to see, uh, if I zoom in, to see something, somebody like this than to see somebody from here. So on this one, we'll, I will be standing and you see, you can totally tell that I'm shooting from the top. So you wanna get back as much as you can. I'm zooming in on the camera and you're gonna get this angle right here. So, so that's, that's a, a pretty view over here. And as you can see, the level will be around her tights or, or her waist. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this camera back a little more and then you guys are gonna see the angle. So here's the two shots that I took. One, I took it while I was standing up and as you can see, it's not a bad picture, it's cute. But you can totally tell that, you know, I'm shooting from top and her legs are like disappearing into, into the void. And this one is the one that I took from the bottom. So as you can see, her legs look way much longer and it's more, more of a nice portrait. Especially in fashion, they like to shoot from low like this. So the, the models look higher, the head looks smaller. I'm actually pretty happy, nothing is blown out. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue shooting something like this. All right, so we're gonna leave it there and let's go ahead and see some pictures. Which ones do you want to leave? All right, so she's picking these two. Just put the mark with control one and we pull out the next eight. And these are the only photos that we, we selected so far. So there you go. Now we can see it from here and we can start removing a couple of them. Alright, so now she has a better vision of this and she picks these two at the end. So basically she doesn't want this or this or this. Put command two, two stars on them. Option command two, shrink the selection to two. And now we can just go which one you want. So just press space and we can see it with just pressing one button. You can scroll to all of them. And as <laughs> she already selected, as soon as you do that, it, there's one that always comes to your to your face. So she picks this one to the computer in the front. So I say thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> and I show her the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And obviously make sure that they don't forget anything because she's forgetting her phone. A lot of times they come with bags or whatever. Now she happens to work here, and she happens to be the one that retouches. And that's pretty much it. So. That's pretty much what I do for a lot of the audition photo shoots. Every time there's a full body in a bust up, I will just do this all the time, help them a little bit with the poses. I'm gonna leave you with her mouse skills. And I'm gonna leave it there, so you guys don't wanna see a whole Photoshop retouch session. If you have any questions, you know, if you are thinking to maybe open a studio or something like that, then um, maybe I can give you some tips of how it's done if over here in Japan. All right, so another day over. It's uh, just leaving the studio right now, it's 9 p.m. Pretty much been there all day since 11. So here's my boss saying goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So, and look at that, a freaking Rolls Royce, just like... They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to kiss I love the city. I love the silly colors. Like this, this is darkish, bluish, greenish. I have no idea. These tones are just so amazing. I'm not so far from Shibuya, but everything just calms down here. is so quiet. We even have a little river that crosses over here, and it's just so calm.